showed you in my last video how to make this frame. We're gonna go ahead and sand all of the glue areas off. I always start off with the 80 grit sandpaper and then I finish sand with 180 grit. got it all sanded up you can really see the closeness of the miters here look at that nice and tight perfect miters so let me show you how to finish it using an HVLP gun I'm gonna take a little wood putty or I could use glue and sawdust and put that right in the little nail holes <laughs> So just for a little added detail, I'm going to use a router bit around the edge. Let's see, what shall I use? How about this one? This is an OG bit, so why not? Let's dress it up a little bit. So I feel like this depth is gonna be okay. I'm just gonna check it on my frame. And so that's what we got. Nice little picture frame, just made out of scrap wood. Perfectly mitered, ooh baby. So now I'm just gonna take any burrs off of the hard edges here, the straight, the, the corner areas. And do what I call break the edge, just so it's not perfectly crisp has a little ease to it. I'm going to actually stain this frame and this one I made the other day. So that way I can also show you guys how to spray a clear coat. So this is how you stain. Get it on a rag, wipe it back and forth, have a clean rag, wipe it off. That's basically how easy that is. Now that the stain is dry, I'm ready to spray lacquer. I'm spraying deft brushing lacquer in a semi-gloss finish out of an HVLP. That's high volume, low pressure uh, spray gun like this. I have an automatic pressure reducer, so it reduces the pressure down to about 40 pounds, which is good for spraying um, finishes. You might reduce that down to that, just depending on the thickness of the finish that you're spraying. If you noticed when I was spraying, I was pulling the trigger before I hit the workpiece and letting the trigger off after the spray fan has left the workpiece. And that is to ensure that you get a nice even coat. You don't have any start or stopping points. You definitely want to have a nice flow of when you move your um, spray gun across your piece. Now we'll just give these both a few minutes to dry. We'll repeat the process, sanding between coats with a 300 or a 400 grit sandpaper, and then these are ready to go. Now that the first coat of lacquer is dry, I can go ahead and take my 400 grit sandpaper and just literally just wipe it. That's it. That's all you gotta do to get it really super, super smooth. Just wipe all the edges that you just sprayed and then we're gonna spray it again. And here's the finished frame. Ready to put glass and the picture in it and hang it up. And here is the finished farm. 